Hey guys, so probably this video will be up Friday. I definitely want to make this video for those of you who are going to pre-release, those of you who are new players, those of you who are maybe older players but going to a new store. I did a little primary little example why you should go and I'm going to do a primary on the cards and a screen or matic or some screenshot way. And I just wanted to tell you guys, um, very upfront with you, that if you are an experienced player, so I'll do experienced players in new players, you kind of have a duty and I have always felt this way and this is the way I personally feel. You have a responsibility to make sure that other players, maybe new players or returning players, have a good time. You have a responsibility to be fair. You have a responsibility just to be talkative and socialize. I know that seems kind of weird for me to say that you have to socialize when you know we're it's not you have to, but it would be very nice. One of the most awkward situations is when a new player is talking to you and you just don't, you just zone them out. I remember one player I played with just put on headphones and it's like, okay, cool. Uh, Pre-release, in my opinion, is a social event for Magic players. It is a place that casual players come it is a event casual players love coming to. It is a event that Players who generally don't play at your store will be there. So if you are a regular at your store, you owe it to yourself as well as your locals to kind of promote your store and show what type of culture your store has, uh, that they are friendly to new players, they are not sharky people, they are nice people and they get along and they socialize and you can grab dinner with them, you can grab some beer with them if they're older, of course, and you can have fun with these people. Now, that being said, I do want to tell the newer, I, I made a video, I always make a one video a week before pre-release with the concept that if you are a newer player and you are maybe shy or you are, you're not great at socializing, most people are not in Magic the Gathering. Uh, by definition, and I know a lot of you in the comments below will be like, no, I'm the coolest kid ever. But, Magic is more of a intellectual um, hobby and I guarantee you in college, uh, in college intellect is valued much more than I think high school, at least in my experience. I um, mean, you just have to look at, and especially in Texas, you have to look at the, the Malik, the guy who, I think his name is Malik, I don't know, Maness, but he pretty much created a really cool clock and his teachers, his administration, the police, it's a clock. I mean, that made me think about like all the times where I've tried to do compute. Every, like very few people had laptops when I was younger. I had a laptop. It was like an old Dell. I used to do computer website programming and my English teacher would always be like, oh, you're trying to hack the system. And it's like, no, I'm building a website. But like back, especially back then, they didn't really, couldn't tell the difference between like building a website and like hacking the system, admin system, I don't know, it all seemed the same to them. So I've kind of had the experience, not obviously I've never been arrested or you know put in handcuffs or like been called a terrorist. You know, that's the very extreme version of it. But I would say um, when I was playing Magic in high school and middle school, uh, you had kids take our decks and throw them in the trash. And I'm totally not kidding you here. And my older friends can verify this. And you might not fit in. And that's okay. That is absolutely okay that you don't fit in maybe in high school. Because in college, you know, I fit in perfectly. I was extremely popular in college and in grad school and even now. But in high school and middle school, I didn't fit in. I played this game that was for nerds or geeks way before it became what it is today. Today is much more, I guess, popular. It's more popular media now than it used to be. It's like gamers and stuff like that is trending, right? But back then it wasn't trending. And it was very, very different times. That was like 2001 was when my freshman year of high school. And that was very different times. So I would say, People who are attracted to magic, what we are all the same. So I just want you guys to be brave. I don't want you to 
Like, oh, I'm socially awkward. Everyone there is socially awkward. You should not. And if you are a local or something, talk. Please, please, please make them feel comfortable. Make them talk with them because that's the future players of your community. And if your community is not growing, it will eventually, very much like Legacy, <laughs> I'm going to take a shot at Legacy. <laughs> I know people in the comments are going to be pissed that I took this shot at Legacy. But if your community is not growing for whatever reason, it will eventually disappear. That's just numbers. That's just logic. That's numbers. Um, and maybe magic itself is growing, but if your store, your culture of your store is not attractive to new players, eventually your store is not going to exist. I can tell you that from Groovy Geckos, Phoenix Games, Phoenix Games Reborn, and then whatever it was called afterwards, um, that you have to make a friendly environment for new players. That's it. Bye, and I'll see you guys out on the flip side of pre-release.